So this is uh, one of our sheds here. That's the donkey cart that I grew up with, going to the village in and collecting hay. And this is the old propeller to the um, wind charger that my, grew up, my mother grew up with for electricity. This my parents brought here in the 1970s. So we were canoeing along the river in that. And this big trap here was what my mother went to school in. It's covered in uh, tarpaulin to protect it. But what I'm coming in here for are these ferns that are all growing in this shed. And I'm gonna put them in the that trunk that I've planted uh, tulip bulbs in. So I've got my winkle tool and my kneeling pad. So I can winkle out these. There's three different ferns. There's this kind of fern, these tongue-like ferns, and then those tiny ones back there. And you can see there's loads more in here. This was the uh, top of my grandfather, my great-grandfather's small um, carriage, if you will. Uh, it's tiny, and we had it as a playhouse as a child. Uh, so my grandfather, I think my grandfather might have ridden in that. It might have already fallen apart by the time he was growing up. But um, yeah, so those are some of the vehicles that we have in here. So the canoe, the old wind charger, wooden blade, the donkey cart, my mother's trap she went to school in, and um, I'm going to be here digging up some ferns. You can see they're growing really well. So is the toad flax. That's toad flax. And then these are the ferns. But I love the look at the ferns in this. This is the old, you can see the padded edges. Very, very um, falling apart. So that's what I'm going to be doing now is um, winkling some of these ferns out. So that is now planted with the tulip bulbs and these are what I dug out of the shed and there's at least three varieties of ferns here and I think they're going to look beautiful. I have them on my kneeling pad. I brought them out on a tray and they're just glorious. Anyway, no, please, can I do this without your help? You're not to dig in this, okay? I'm just hoping no rats find the, or squirrels find the tulips that are in there. Yeah, what you doing? What you doing? Yeah, I'm supposed to be kneeling on a kneeling pad, but I'm not. I used it as a tray. Look at you, look at you. Okay, next stage is placing these ferns in this, and then the tulips will come up through them. No, you're not to dig either, honestly, Inca. No digging, okay? Okay, I'll show you the end result once I've put these ferns in the, no, look, no digging. There is nothing in there, I promise. She was looking at it very suspiciously. Now she's sitting. <laughs> and there is my finished product. Hopefully the ferns will last. They've been very protected in the garage. So all that green might die back, but hopefully it will come back again because I've got the roots in there and you can see there's more babies due to come up, more fronds in the middle of them. But hopefully, hopefully that will survive. Well, it'll look nice for a little while anyway. And uh, all that was, was a little bit of labor and some assistance. Isn't that right, Inca? And hopefully nothing will dig out the bulbs or dig out my ferns. I think it looks lovely. Let me pick up my bits and look at that ferniness next to the witch hazel. I'm rather pleased with that. That looks really, really nice. Yay!
Well, I'm afraid I was indulgent. I just wanted a splash of color amongst my ferns. Whether these ferns survive or not, I don't know. Because they were sheltered, so sheltered. But I just thought a splash of color before the tulips come would look lovely. And look at that. Looks really good. And then there's the witch hazel, yellow, with this yellow. And they're kind of right next to each other. So two splashes of yellow and a cat. Maya, what are you doing? Anyway, just a bit of difference. I think it looks lovely.